When an air mothership capable of releasing a swarm of 300 drones breaks through the sky, will the rules of modern warfare be completely subverted? This question is becoming more and more realistic with the upcoming maiden flight of the nine days. A large-scale drone developed by China Aviation Industry Corporation, AVIC, in June of this year. Since its shocking debut at the Zhuhai Air Show in 2024, this new weapons platform, known as the Weights of the Air, has attracted global attention. At present, nine days, no, Zero Four has completed structural installation and system integration, and its official test flight is just around the corner, and its potential strategic value has triggered in-depth discussions. The core index of nine days is extremely groundbreaking, with a takeoff weight of 16 tons and a payload of six tons. It is one of the heaviest unmanned combat platforms in the world, with a bomb-carrying capacity that exceeds that of the U.S. Army's MQ-9, Reaper, and her Q-4. Global Hawk, combined, comparable to the J-10C manned combat aircraft. It is equipped with turbofan engine, maximum speed of 700 km per hour, maximum range of 7,000 km, sustained flight more than 12 hours. In the future, with the adoption of hydrogen fuel system, the endurance is expected to jump to an amazing 36 hours. With a practical ceiling of 15,000 meters, it can operate freely in the safe zone above the altitude of most active air defense missiles, which naturally gives it the advantage of high-altitude surprise defense and persistent surveillance. In terms of weapon mounting, the Ju-10 has eight external mounting points and can flexibly carry PL-12E air-to-air -air missiles, CM-400 AKG hypersonic anti-ship missiles, TL-7 anti-ship missiles, and LS-6 glide-guided bombs, which are capable of air-to-air, air-to-ground and air to sea multi-area operations. But what really defines its air mothership status is the revolutionary abdominal, heterogeneous honeycomb mission module. This modularized module can be quickly switched to electronic warfare module, transportation module, ammunition module, reconnaissance module or the most subversive, swarm command module. The swarm command module is the center of attention and is said to be able to accommodate 200 to 300 micro drones or roving bombs. Imagine a nine days, releasing hundreds of small drones, which will either swoop down on the target like a swarm of locusts to carry out saturation strikes, disperse and weave a reconnaissance and surveillance network, or collaborate to release high-intensity electronic jamming. Foreign social media marveled as a realistic version of the StarCraft Divine Carrier. Although the specific performance has yet to be verified, but if realized, it will become the world's first combat air swarm mothership creating a new era of drone combat. Swarm technology is regarded as a disruptive force in future wars. Relying on AI autonomous collaboration and high-speed data chain, the swarm commanded by the nine days constitute a semi-automated miniature combat system, can be the enemy radar stations, communication hubs, air defense positions, airport runways and other key nodes to carry out sustained jamming, suppression and precision strikes. This low-cost, high-density, intelligent attack mode the traditional air defense system poses a serious challenge, can greatly weaken or even paralyze the enemy's defense system for the main force to clear the obstacles to the assault. At the tactical level, the Nine Days is not a simple attack aircraft, but a multifunctional air hub and force multiplier. It can be in the long-range rear persistent patrol. The implementation of wide area surveillance and communications relay can also go out with the Air Marshal 500 early warning aircraft attack 11 stealth drones and manned combat aircraft, building high, medium and low altitude three-dimensional strike network, the implementation of multi-dimensional surprise defense, its huge payload and range make it a key, wait for the PLA to implement the area denial, any intervention strategy in the vast area of the first to second island chains. At the strategic level, the nine days can achieve strategic effects with high combat density, low cost and zero risk of casualties. When the situation is tense in the Taiwan Strait, or the South China Sea, the nine days with electronic warfare pods can cruise in safe airspace and suppress enemy communications, radar and GPS signals over a wide range. At the same time, it can release swarms of bees to carry out reconnaissance, deception, or suicide attacks, forming a saturated strike and opening up a channel for the main fighters, missiles, or unmanned ship clusters. In low-intensity conflicts such as anti-terrorism and stability maintenance, its long endurance and unmanned characteristics are also efficient, which can significantly reduce the risk of personnel and enhance the intelligence-gathering capabilities. Of course, skepticism ensues. Analysts believe that the swarm's power is limited, making it difficult to deal with hardened targets, that it needs to traverse low and medium altitudes when launching, 
making it vulnerable to interception by close-range air defense fire, and that the Nine Sky's main body lacks stealth and hypersonic capabilities, making it dependent on electronic warfare cover for survivability in high confrontation environments. These questions point to the real challenges it faces in the high-end battlefield. So, does the Nine Days assume the role of first wave assault? The answer is probably no. It is more likely to enter the battlefield after the initial seizure of air power and suppression of enemy air defenses and perform continuous surveillance, strikes, or swarm harvesting, or serve as a core force in a low-threat anti-intervention, asymmetric environment. Its value lies in persistence, versatility and systematic suppression, rather than acting as a sharp knife for surprise defense. Designed as an enhanced fighter-bomber platform with the cockpit removed, the 9th Heaven 16-ton takeoff weight provides ample room for capability expansion, accommodating large sensors, high-power satellite communications equipment, powerful AI chips, and complex swarm control systems. These, soft power, is the key to effectiveness. The support system is its lifeline. China's perfect Baidu system, space-based reconnaissance network and theater-level high-speed data chains have laid the foundation for such platforms as nine days that rely on remote information interaction. However, it must be realized that its combat effectiveness depends on a huge support system, far more than its own hardware. Stable satellite communications, real-time processing of massive amounts of information, and efficient command of swarms all rely heavily on the informatization, networking and intelligence of the entire combat system. Therefore, the real challenge of nine days does not lie in manufacturing, but in how to work seamlessly with Air Marshal 500, Skywave Radar, Distributed Command Center, and Intelligent Decision-Making System. Only when it is perfectly integrated into the combat network, and becomes an efficient intelligent node can its potential be fully released. If successfully installed, the Nine Days will profoundly change the PLOS tactical system and equipment structure. With its excellent range and payload, it is expected to gradually take on the medium and long-range strike missions of the JBM-70 and part of the Boom 6K, and to establish the core position of the high-end inspection and strike unmanned aerial vehicle. UAV. Analysts believe that in specific low-intensity missions, the comprehensive combat capability of several Ju Tan can be comparable to that of a traditional fighter regiment. What is more worth looking forward to is the future synergy, with the Boom 20 stealth bomber, 9 days, is responsible for controlling the tempo and sweeping and suppressing, while the Boom 20 carries out the stealthy fatal strike, optimizing the use of power and reducing risks. From Rainbow and Wing Dragon to Attack 11 and Nine days, China's UAV development has clearly shown a shift from catching up to catching up. China's UAV development has clearly shown a trajectory from catching up to leading. The nine days symbolizes that China has opened up a brand new path for unmanned combat platforms. In the context of the highly complex integration of modern air combat equipment, whoever can efficiently control the flow of battlefield information and strikes at a lower cost will win the right to dominate. Nine days is not an isolated weapon but a key part of China's air and space integration, network synergy, intelligence-led future strike system. Although it is not omnipotent, its birth has already declared, China's unmanned combat platform has gone beyond the primary, reconnaissance, strike, mode, is stepping into the platform, intelligence, swarming of a new strategic dimension, full steam ahead in defining the pinnacle of the future form of war.